Assalamualaikum. We are from Marine Technology US and Police. My name is Mohd Faiz Bendeski. My name is Nasara Ishia Binti Mazlan. And my name is Lunada Binti Mokhari. This video is for special topic, March 640. And we are from Semester 6. This video is for an extra knowledge about marine parasite in the world. So, enjoy this video and subscribe. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. This is the cross creature on earth. It is called tongue-eating isopod. Oh, I know. It is called Saimotoa exigua. What is Saimotoa exigua? It is an isopod of crustacean like lobster and crabs. Oh, I see. Where do they live? Particularly, they live in ocean and it is parasite. The speciality about this isopod is its ability to be protoendritic hermaphrodite. What is protoendritic hermaphrodite? That means when they are adults, the male become female. So what will happen after that? This isopod will invest the fish. This happens when juvenile of isopod will enter the gills and it grow into mature in a form of male. Then how about the female? One of the isopods will become female. The female will crawl across the gills to the tongue and attach to it using her back legs. Then, she will suck the tongue until the cell of the tongue totally dies and cause the tongue to fall off. In this condition, it will not kill the fish but the isopod will act as prosthetic tongue. Last but not least, this parasite will not affect the humans. But... They can bite when they are alive. Oh, now I see. In conclusion, parasites are common to the fishes. It can be internal or external parasites. Like this case, Simotoma extinct preys on other fishes such as mahi mahi and barabuni. In Malaysia, this species usually found in Miri. Second, don't freak out when you see this little friend. Do proper handling and cleaning technique before you cook the fish. Last but not least, avoid eating raw fish and it's safe. Even though these species are rarely found in Malaysia, but still we need to be more concerned on eating fresh and clean seafood.